I don't think it's any secret that there's a massive stigma about addiction. It is very common to look down on drug addicts and alcoholics, and what's crazy is even when people get sober, there's still a stigma about someone who is in recovery from addiction, and that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and helping you with your mental health. But I also try to raise awareness and decrease the stigma for all mental health issues and things out there, all right? So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So make sure you stay till the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna be talking about some important stuff, but the first, and I was gonna wait till the end so you had to watch the whole thing, but I guess like I'll start out on a good note. There's an exciting announcement. I am actually going to be working, well, I already kind of am, <laughs> with um, and one of the most amazing therapists I've ever met in my life, her name is Brittany. And she just opened up an outpatient treatment center here in Las Vegas called Endure. And like, it's, it's like based around fitness and she has just an amazing curriculum for people here in Las Vegas. So do me a favor, even if you're not from Las Vegas, even if you are not an addict in recovery or an addict or know anybody who's an addict, do me a favor and go check out the description. I'm gonna link to our social media pages. Like, please go support them. I'm going to be running their social media. Um, so yeah, please support it. But anyways, like, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of crazy. Like, Brittany and I, we used to work together at the same treatment center and um, we, we talked and we were always friendly and everything like that, but since she came to me and talked to me about helping her uh, launch Endure here in Las Vegas, I've really gotten to know her. And something I'm helping her out with is uh, editing some of the blogs that she's posting on uh, our website. And I'll link to this blog post down below. But she posted about uh, stopping the stigma. So part of what Brittany's doing, okay, so part of this uh, model is being of service, right? So it's mind, body, soul, action, right? Because a big part of recovery is like going out and doing things for other people. Like if some of you are wondering why I'm all about like kindness and doing things for other people without expecting anything in return, it's because that's what I was taught. It's the complete opposite of what I did in my addiction. So Brittany, with launching this company, she has been reaching out to a bunch of different nonprofits and things like that here in Las Vegas and, and saying like, hey, uh, I run a treatment center. Part of our curriculum is to have people go out and give back and be a service, whether it's helping with like clothing drives or homeless shelters or food drives, whatever it is, right? And Brittany writes about this and she, she had a response that was basically just like, no. Like, no, we're not interested in working with that population, right? Like, people in recovery. And like, when I first started reading Britney's uh, blog post, I was like, I was like, well, well did Britney just like kind of take this out of context? You know what I mean? Like, maybe they're just full. But Britney uh, goes on to this blog post and says like, she actually spoke to him on the phone and like, this is what it was. And like, first and foremost, like, now that I've gotten to know Britney even better, like, she, she is not an addict in recovery. She is what we refer to as a normie. She is just a woman who is passionate about helping people who are trying to overcome addictions, right? And the fact that she is like out there fighting the good fight to fight this stigma, right? Like, I am just so honored to be working with her. Like, it's so awesome to have people on our side, you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 it just warms my heart. And like, I, I, the more I learn about her, the more I just love Brittany, I'm so glad I get to be working with her. But yeah, like, um, with this video, I just wanna share some of my personal experience with this. So one of the things I'll say is, is that I, you know, working at the Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center that Brittany and I used to work at, like, part of what I did, I organized events right? I organized events where we would go out and like sometimes we did fun stuff, like we'd go go-kart racing or we'd go um, to uh, the water park here or to GameWorks, but we'd also do service events, right? And I'll tell you this, because I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm lucky or what, but I haven't run into as many issues as other people have and like, but it's something that I'm always afraid of. It's something that I always fear. Like whenever I was reaching out to somebody, like even if it was for an event, like even if it was like go-kart racing, right? Like 
I would say like, you know, what company I work for and they're like, what kind of business is it? And I'm like, it's a drug and alcohol rehab center. And I'm always just like, kind of like, Ugh. like, are they gonna tell us like, no? You know what I mean? It's always a fear that's in my head just because I know about the stigma that's out there, right? Um, but like, it's crazy too because here's the thing that I don't think a lot of people understand and this is my personal story. Like, the first step, the first step towards getting clean and sober is admitting that you have a problem, right? And that wasn't the issue. That wasn't the issue that I struggled with six years ago when I got clean. My issue was if I admit I have this problem, I admit that I'm one of those awful drug addicts and alcoholics. Like even as an addict and alcoholic, I had this terrible idea of drug addicts and alcoholics. So if I admit that, that means I'm one of you. Does that make sense? So like, that's one of the issues with the stigma is that people are afraid to admit that they have a problem because of the stigma. That's one of the things I struggled with. Um, those of you who've been watching my channel for a little while, I've explained that my mom um, is a recovering alcoholic. And for me, like I hated my mom most of my life. For me to admit I had a problem meant to uh, admit that I was just like her. And I didn't wanna do that, you know? So like, we need to start having some more compassion and things like, I know it's difficult, like most of you watching this, if you're not an addict in recovery, like you know somebody who's an addict or an alcoholic, and I know it's, it's difficult, I know it's hard, and you do have to set boundaries and things like that, but like the best thing you could do is just remember these are sick people, these are sick people. So like something we say in recovery, we're not bad people trying to become good, we're sick people trying to be well, right? Like, I, I make it a point, I make it a point, because I knew the stigma was out there about addicts. Like, I make it a point personally to be the best version of myself to prove people wrong about former drug addicts and alcoholics. Like, I try to be a good person on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to put kindness and empathy and love out into the world. Like, I, this is kind of like a weird thing, but I love when people meet me for the first time and like I don't run around and say, hi, I'm Chris, I'm an addict in recovery. Like I don't do that. But like I love when I meet people and they get to know me a little bit and then later on they find out that I'm an addict in recovery. They're like, whoa. I thought, <laughs> first off, I thought, uh, you know, opiate addicts were like a lot skinnier than you. <laughs> that was a, that was a self-fat joke. But anyway, the second thing is like, I want them to think like, wow, I didn't realize like, you, somebody like you, were an addict or an alcoholic in recovery because like that's part of this thing. Like addiction can affect anybody. Like the disease of addiction does not discriminate at all, at all. And people in recovery, like they're fighting every single day just to not die because picking up a drink or a drug can kill them. They're fighting every day to do that. So like when it's hard for them to go get a job because of uh, you know their past or just even even like what Brittany's talking about, going to be a service for people and, and people turn them down like, man, 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 man. Like, so again, just like try to practice some empathy, try to practice some love, you know? Like we need to decrease the stigma for all mental health issues, not just some, all of them. Like the last thing I'll say, I, one of the purposes of my channel, I don't like how mental health is over here and addiction's over here. It's all the same. It's all the same, and we gotta come together if we wanna end this stigma together, all right? But anyways, again, again, please, please, Brittany is an amazing woman. I am now working with Endure here in Las Vegas. Do me a favor, check out the links in the description. Go follow us on uh, social media. Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram and all of that. We will be starting a YouTube channel in the future, maybe a podcast, so make sure you follow us. Like, please show us some support, okay? But thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you would like to help support the channel and have your name right up here make sure you click on that little patreon icon all right thanks again so much for watching in the stigma and i'll see you next time